most active of all champions, middleweight king, Eddie Mel Griffin. Joe Lewis coming in on the left. Right heavyweight, down the right heavyweight, King Jose Curry. You can never tell in a heavyweight championship fight, but the fans are looking forward to a tough fight from Foley, and of course, the flash and speed we've come to expect from Muhammad Ali. Sure. All Saints, sorry. We're just about ready to go here at Madison Square Garden. Muhammad Ali and Zora Foley scheduled for 15. As you see, the windmill action getting ready in the left hand and upper left hand corner of the screen. Muhammad Ali. In his corner is Louis Saria, the Cuban bodybuilder, and Angie Dundee, his trainer, and Drew Bundini Brown, who's making his reappearance since the float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and the disappearance of the championship belt, which came back. Here's the champion. Now, over in the corner, 202 and a half pounds, Zora Foley and his entourage, directly with his back to us. The large crowd is waiting in anticipation for this heavyweight championship fight between the champion Muhammad Ali, and you see him loosening up there. And over on the right-hand side, the challenger, the number one contender for the crown, Zora Foley. I don't think there's anything quite like the electricity of a heavyweight championship fight in all the world of sports, and tonight is no exception. The large crowd at Madison Square Garden is literally waiting for this big one to get underway. And we're all set on the world-famous <laughs> ring announcer, Johnny Addy. Main event, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing the officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission, the judges, Frank Forbes and Tony Castellano, the timekeeper, Fred Amatello, County Court and Knockdowns, Bobby Smith, the referee for the main event, Johnny Lobianco. Introducing the principals from Chandler, Arizona, wearing brown trunks, he weighs 202 and a half, the challenger, Zora Foley. His opponent from Houston, Texas, he's wearing white trunks, he weighs 211 and a half, the heavyweight champion of the world, Mohammed Ali. For the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Mohammed Ali, Ali, you're boxing for the world heavyweight championship. You were bruised, breathed on every one of our rules. The three knockdowns in any one round, the bout is automatically stopped. If you score a knockdown, go to a neutral corner. Do not come out until I call you. If you're in a down position and the bell rings, the count will continue with the exception of the last round. No holding and hitting. When you're in a clinch and I tell you to break, step back clean, protect yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Shake hands. Scoring here in New York on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on an official's card. The gladiators are wearing eight ounce gloves. Muhammad Ali, the white trunks. Zora Foley, the challenger. In the dark trunks, they are brown. Foley is a patient fighter, a good counter puncher, and he gets in a light right hand there. Ali, the champion, figures to circle the ring at great speed until he's ready to carry the attack to his opponent. 
Now remember, especially in the early rounds, the 34-year-old Foley will be dangerous. Time could work against him. He's nine years older than the champion. Foley knows everything about the manly art of self-defense, how to defend himself, how to attack, how to roll with punches, how to jab. He's, he's got all the equipment. And of course, so has the champion. The champion has speed, great speed. Two minutes left in round one. And that's a little less majesty. The challenge is showing no respect for the champion. Out of respect, probably, for Foley's punching power, the champion is keeping his gloves up higher than he usually does. He usually dangles them at his hips. Foley keeps cocking that right hand. That's his Sunday punch. Clay figures when he's ready to open up with a flurry. And he's got all the equipment, too. Champion seemingly is going to get aggressive any moment. He's looking for the spot. And that was not a soft punch. Foley has brought the crowd up with those punches. Seconds left in round one. Round two on the left, the champion Muhammad Ali, the white trunk, challenges Zora Foley in the brown. Foley showed no respect for the champion in the first round, and the champion did very little. Muhammad Ali is six feet three. Foley is just a little bit short of six feet one. Foley is 34 years old, the champion 25. Notice that quick right hand the challenger has. With that, he has scored 40 knockouts. And there's the first clinch of the fight. The referee, Johnny Lobianco, gets them apart. at that time. Foley has been carrying the fight to the champion. At the moment, the champion is treating this as though it were a gymnasium workout. This is very pretty, but it is not scoring any points for the champion. And should the fight go the limit, these early rounds count just as much as the later ones. Now Ali has dropped his gloves down. He's taking light lifts to the body, and they're not annoying him, apparently. One minute to go in round two.
something that Foley can find the champion with those right hands. And he is, and they're not soft punches. Ten seconds to go in round two. The gloves down at his side again. The white trunks. Challenges Zora Foley. Watching his man go around him. Foley is a patient fighter. He rarely get, gets ruffled. At anything his opponent does. Or at anything he himself does. He's patient. Ali's looking to get in there now. With that famous flurry. He's also got to watch the countering right hand. is putting on a show, but he's not bothering Foley, apparently. Two minutes left in this round. Johnny Lobianco, a very fine referee, is in there. Foley is getting those jabs into the body, too. Some of the crowd is yelling, stand still, Foley. Don't walk around and get tired. I guess Laura knows what to do. They have both had harder sessions in the gymnasium. But without the tension of the championship match. how Foley can ride back with those punches but now the champion's jab is getting in there <laughs> Ali got in his first good right hand that time flush on the jaw Foley took it well Round three of Madison Square Garden. Come on, the champion is now finding his opponent with jabs and is looking better. See how quick the champion's left hand is? Ten seconds to go in this round. Round three. In that round, the champion was part clown, part bicycle rider, but he still has that light speed, the spring in the legs, and it looks to me like he's assessed whatever Foley's attack is going to be. He started to throw the straight left jab, started to land, scored with the one good right hand. Foley still keeps probing with the left and trying to catch the elusive target with his right. And that would have been an even round, I would have said. Foley leads the fight two to one, what fight there has been. Zora Foley's corner. Muhammad Ali here at Madison Square Garden as we await round four. Don, the first three rounds. Looks like the champ is ready. this heavyweight championship match. Muhammad Ali, the champion of all the world in the white trunks. Zora Foley, the challenger from Chandler, Arizona. Champion weighing 211 and a half. Foley, 202 and a half. little 
action. The crowd doesn't seem to mind. Champion Ali is always a show, no matter what he's doing. Foley is gradually cutting down the uh, the distance that Ali is away from him. He's trying to corner. Ali is trying to corner him little by little. See how well the challenger rolls back from those punches. And there's Foley down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Foley is up at nine. About a minute and 40 seconds left to go in the round, and Foley is back battling. They said Foley wouldn't be Tiger, but he is. has turned into quite a fight, hasn't it? One minute to go in round four. Foley bleeding from the nose. Foley's coming back from that knockdown, and he is scoring. One of the infrequent clinches. that put Foley down came so fast you could hardly see them. There's nothing wrong with Foley's courage, believe me. He's got plenty. Ten seconds to go in round four. Looked up at the clock or the round sign as he came out here. Bill Swift, Johnny Hart, and Petey Mack are in the challenger's corner. Angelo Dundee, Louis Saria, and Drew Brown, better known as Bundini, are in the champion's corner. Round five at Madison Square Garden, scheduled for 15. Few expected to go that far. Important match. The minutes go by very fast. About a minute gone so far in round five. Foley, unlike many of Ali's opponents, is not afraid to throw that right hand. That's a grazing right. Neither bothers to do anything on the inside. Solid jab by the champ, but Foley put one in there, a couple. left in round five. Those are hard jabs by the champion. They're bound to take their toll. Look at them. However, those jabs are 
carrying this round for the champion. Ten seconds left in round five. Round six at Madison Square Garden challenges Zora Foley on the right, champion on the left. Foley was down for a nine count. He took the count listening to it in round four. Went down from a combination, lightning punches. Other than that, he has given a good account of himself. Grazer. They're pretty close to each other now. That was a good punch by Foley. Foley has been bleeding intermittently from the nose. Two minutes left in round six. opening for the right that time, but froze. Clay altering his style again, goes into motion. Champion Muhammad Ali putting that jab in again. Zora Foley the challenger. One minute to go in round six. Champion Ali is just too fast for Foley. He missed. The champion came out for the full minute and a half, the far first half of that round, and just stood flat-footed there within range of Foley, and the two of them sort of measured one another, and the champion depended upon his bobbing and weaving and his shoulder twitching to get his head out of range, and Foley was unable to score. And then, almost like a signal, as the round had gone its halfway, a minute and a half, he went up on the balls of his feet and started a dance. And when he does that, circling around, left and right, pinging with that left jab, Foley is just not with the champion. When he fights that fight, it's his fight. So now we're looking at the scene here at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Round seven, there is the warning buzzer on the left in the white Muhammad Ali. On the right in the brown trunk sits Zora Foley. Dunphy ringside in this heavyweight championship match. Muhammad Ali, the champion, the white trunks. Challenges Zora Foley and Brown. In case you join us late, Foley was down from a combination in the fourth round. Took the count listening to it and got up and has fought fairly well since. On the last round or so, the champion speed has been turning the fight his way. Now he is moving in, which is, has been unusual for him in this fight. That 
with a block punch, and Bo Foley rolled with them. Two minutes to go in round seven. A solid punch by the challenger, who, of course, is the sentimental favorite with the crowd. talked about Foley's courage. The champion has plenty himself. There's no question about that. That's Foley down from that right hand. I don't know if he's going to make this one. Six, seven, eight. He's not. Oh, he gamely tried to get up. And Muhammad Ali has retained his heavyweight championship of the world. After about one minute and 55 seconds of the seventh round, Foley tried game. Gamely, he gave the champion the best battle of the champion's career. That is, since he has been champion. And here's Johnny Addy with the announcement. The time, one minute and 48 seconds of the seventh round. The winner by a knockout and still heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. We'll be back to ringside in just a moment. 